so anyways, pretty much all animals are more closely related to us than insects. In the jungles of Africa, uh, and I, I can't see this river very well, but the Congo cuts through. And uh, it's a very wide river that's uh, hard for primates to cross easily. On the outside of the Congo, there's a lot of primates, uh, gorillas and such, that are closely related to us. And they have uh, a short supply of fruit where they live. There are small areas that, that have a good supply of fruit, and gorillas will... Uh, protect these regions from other tribes and uh, these primates are very male hierarchical they uh, the you know the silverback gorilla the eldest male of the group rules pretty much with an iron fist he eats first and decides who eats after him, essentially. And uh, they control these scarce natural resources. They're also very controlling of the women. Uh, they keep them in sight. Uh, they protect them from other males uh, so that they have mating rights. On the other side of the Congo, uh, inside a, a smaller region that's somewhat secluded by the Congo River, we find bonobos, and they're they're an amazing species. Uh, I I like to strive to be more like a bonobo than a gorilla. The bonobos live in in a region that's that's ripe with fruit. Uh, it's in abundance. They don't have to control a territory. They don't have to fight others off because there's plenty to go around. And in this setting, the bonobos, uh, the females of the bonobos have developed strong female-female bonds. And because of these female-female bonds, uh, there's a lot less violence among bonobos. If a male tries to become possessive or violent towards a female, the other females uh, come to her aid. In fact, on top of this, the females form friendly bonds with males, and uh, they will copulate with uh, friendly males before violent males. And so this encourages the males to be nice to the females. There are also other benefits that these bonds provide. Uh, they groom each other, which strengthens the bond, and also helps clean and remove parasites and such that can cause health problems. Uh, so we can see that division between tribes is also a cause of division within a tribe. Uh, this exclusion of others from one's territory leads to a possessive desire of not only the natural resources but also the members of the opposite sex. That's pretty interesting. Some primates, like baboons, have a apparent menstrual cycle. That is, when the female baboon is in heat, uh, the coloration around her hind side flares up uh, she releases pheromones that she doesn't normally release and so everybody around her knows that she is in heat and able to become impregnated. Most primates though do not have, when fertility is obvious it gives more control to the males. Uh, they know that when the female is in heat they need to be more controlling, more possessive, uh, they need to secure their mating rights by defending her from other males. 
However, when when this is hidden, when there's no visual or olfactory cue for fertility, uh, the fer fertile part of the cycle, it gives more control to the female. Uh, the British did an interesting study, and I have no specifics about any of these things I'm referencing. It's all just from memory. British did an interesting study where uh, they went into nightclubs. And what they did was they would take swabs from... They would ask women if they were willing to p participate in this study. And they would take swabs of their saliva, which would allow them to chemically determine what part of their menstrual cycle they were in. And they also took pictures and or video of the women and did simple surface area calculations to determine what percentage of their body was covered by clothing. And they found a direct correlation between women who were currently fertile and women who were wearing very little clothing. What this says is that women subconsciously know when they're fertile and will wear less clothing during those times uh, for a better chance to attract a male. And they would do this without knowledge. Um, but they did this study over several months. I think they involved the same people at different times as well. Uh, frequenters of these same nightclubs.